Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Alexander Don, and in this video, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on how I shot this video. Alright, alright, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun to shoot. It wasn't hard or easy, but it was pretty interesting because I haven't shot a bike commercial like this before and it was a little bit challenging, but I'm gonna start with how everything started. So here you see me unpacking the stuff. We came early one hour because I wanted to mount my gear without any stress. I wanted to be chill. I wanted to just uh, do my thing without having any rush on my back. So uh, you can see me mounting on my softbox for the Forza Nanolite 60, which is a really nice light. It's a small LED light that is really, really good. And um, I'm gonna use this as my top light for the bike because I wanna have top light on this one. This softbox is pretty cool because it mounts really easy. And usually when I go to shootings, I go by myself a lot of times and I need gear that I can use alone. I don't need gear that it's big and heavy that will get in the way of my creative vision. So um, using non lights as my lights is really really easy because those lights are very lightweight so it's easy to carry um, the accessories for it, it are really easy to mount so I can go to bigger projects without any crew member and do everything that I can without having any issues I'm setting up my other lights too even though on this project I didn't use as much but I'm mounting my mix panel 60, which is an amazing light. I use it on a lot of uh, easier projects because it's so small and so easy to mount and I can be ready in seconds. I'm mounting most of my lighting equipment because I don't want to have an idea while shooting and spend more time unpacking and putting everything on. So for me, when I'm going to sets, I really like to unpack everything that I've got, put all my lights even if I'm not using them but therefore if I have an idea I have immediate access to everything I need. Moving on you see me pulling out the Nanolite projector lens which is a really nice addition to my set because with this one I can create a lot of effects and as you can see in the following clips you, you can see that we played a lot with this one we managed to get some beautiful shadows and lighting and all that so I think it gives a lot of value to your project using one of these because not a lot of people know what this projector lens can do and if you have one in your set and if you're pulling out on set with one of these you can make stunning images and people would wonder how you did that so mounting my whole rig was pretty simple I did that in like half an hour and now it was time to set up the lighting and the mood and for that I had a few tries to get with what I want but I mostly freestyled the whole shoot so I had an idea I just put it in practice and therefore in post-processing I had a lot of alternatives to how I can edit this and therefore I think the edit turned out pretty cool so I didn't have a script or anything like that we just knew that we need to shoot some beautiful content with this bike in order to create an epic video and we kind of let ourselves be really creative with the lighting because this was the only thing that could change in our situation we we had this big factory hall uh, available to ourselves but 
not everything inside there looked really beautiful so we ended up shooting in front of a wall so here you see me setting up my camera we used a zcam e2 f6 which is the full frame camera from zcam it has a 6k sensor which produce really beautiful images and i'm putting on my tilta made box mini my um, 35 millimeter from Canon, which is one of my favorite lenses for running gun situation. And I'm mounting the whole setup on the Zune Crane 3S, which is an amazing gimbal because it can take up a lot of weight. You see me here trying to balance the gimbal and make it be as stable as possible. One thing that I should have done and I haven't was to remove the top handle, but I was a little bit lazy and <laughs> I didn't take that off, but so far the camera was really stable on the Zoom Crane 3. To keep weight off the motors and preserve the battery as much as possible, I put my monitor on the side, which is an Atama Shinobi and uh, it stayed there pretty good. I had a magic arm on it and it was pretty cool there didn't have any issues with it it was really simple to view the image while filming and as you can see I used a hoverboard to film everything because I really love filming with the gimbals from hoverboard and I think it gives you the ultimate stable images as you can see in the whole video we had really nice images we can speed ramp we can do a lot of stuff that normally when you film with the gimbal and you can see footsteps when you speed ramp that it turns out pretty ugly but if you use a hoverboard when you speed ramp it looks really nice so I really love when shooting this type of content to use a hoverboard but one thing that you should take in mind is to always charge your battery because I ran out of battery at some point so you see me um, setting up the mood for this uh, it was pretty easy we only had one top light not no other lights for the first setup which was pretty simple but we wanted to show the bike in a natural way without any other lights so you can see exactly how the bike looks in different lighting condition and you can appreciate the forms of the bike and how it looks in a non creative way so we wanted to keep it chill for this one but we um, rotate the bike in different directions so we can get different angles and different shots this was pretty easy and now we're gonna go to the next setup where I use the nanolite projector lens and I created in my opinion a really cool shadow that it might be the sun coming through a garage door it might be something that you I don't know it's a beautiful day outside you want to go for a ride with the bike and you see that lighting going through the garage that was what I was thinking when I created that and after then the next shot was more creative I wanted to create some uh, dynamic footage so I set up my lights to pulse and uh, thunderstorm and therefore I think I got some flashy images and all that using this gimbal with the hoverboard I think it created some pretty impressive shots you see me not using a focus gear and a focus puller or anything like that. That is because I was shooting at pretty high aperture. I was around 5.6 and because of that I had a lot of focus and I could only be... I was keeping the distance between the subject in focus. So therefore that's why a lot of the shots are in focus. This is a technique that I do a lot when shooting with gimbals and don't have a focus motor. You've probably seen this a lot in my videos, but I like to do a lot of slow shutter effect shots. And here you see me moving the camera really weird in a lot of ways. And this is because when I do slow shutter effect, I like to move the camera in more not natural ways because this is what the effect does. And what I do is I set my camera to 6 FPS and my uh, shutter speed to 180 degrees. So therefore I'm getting some really nice images and in post I uh, set my clips to 6 frames and this is why it looks so cool. So um, this was it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did 
please subscribe to my YouTube channel, give me a thumbs up and let's connect in the comments area. Peace.